Hey, what's happening everybody? All you road warriors out there, people of the page, welcome to another ride everybody. How's everybody doing? My name is Antonio. It is another weekend. The weekend is here. The holiday has passed. The roads seem to still be empty. There's some people out of town, without a doubt, still out of town. Lots of my family still out of town. That's why I'm working. Um, I haven't had a day off in a long time, guys. <laughs> Got my weekend workhorse here, aka Salvatore, aka the Zombie Mobile. It is uh, my weekend car, and I don't have my sunglasses in it. I forgot my shades. That sucks. I forgot my umbrella, and there's rain in the forecast. So. But uh, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Let's hope I make it. Let's hope I make it is what I really meant to say. Make that money today. I'm not. I'm not really expecting it to be slow. I don't remember the last slow Grubhub day. It was slow that one night when I made that video that, at night. It does tend to get slow at night, like after 10 o'clock p.m. But uh, for the most part, it's it's pretty good. And plus, I was off block that night, so um, on block, man. I only work on block. So. Uh, I'm done talking about the Grubhub Pay model. I'm done with it. I'm going to go back to what the theme of this channel is, is mainly about, which is the adventure, the encounters, the experience. So uh, let me tell you what happened the other day. I get this call from this privately owned Italian restaurant. I, I, I've never been there before. I'm assuming they're very new to Grubhub. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if this was their first ever Grubhub order because when I got there, they were completely dumbfounded. They were looking at me like I had three heads. They were like, uh, are you, uh, oh, the Grubhub thing. You're with the Grubhub? I'm like, yeah, I'm with the Grubhub, yeah. I'm here to pick up this order. <laughs> uh, so the guy's looking for the tablet. Like, The tablet was like behind all these, uh, it was behind a stack of, uh, checks like th this order this restaurant still wrote their orders on checks with a pen and paper I mean, it was a very archaic place so he's looking for the tablet and then he's like who unplugged it and he, he talks to the guy next to him he's like did you unplug this tablet we're like what tablet the, the grubhub tablet one of the workers like was like what's that <laughs> the guy plugged the tablet in and he reads me back the order. I said, yes, that's it. I mean, they were really busy. It was like Tuesday. The prime rib was like half off, 50% off. The place was packed. The guy was not happy to, to be getting more orders. Uh, but it was clear that the restaurant management did not inform its staff of uh, this new Grubhub, ser of the new Grubhub service. It was so clear. Uh, I asked the guy too. I said, do you get a lot of Grubhub orders? He goes, this is my first one. He goes, I don't know if we've gotten any recently. Uh, but yeah, we just acquired it. Uh, Grubhub's new. He apologized. You know, they apologized. But, uh, you know, I wound up waiting an hour for this meal. And I called the customer. I let them know. I called Grubhub, let them know. And uh, the customer was uh, very patient, understanding. I told them everything, you know, the, the restaurant staff is new here, you know, I, I, I try to say as little as possible, you know, just get to the point. You know, I waited, the Met game was on, I watched the Mets, uh, the, the Met-Yankee game was on. Um, you know, I was just chilling out, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? You can't, you got to keep your cool in these situations, guys, do not get all... You know, impatient. These things are going to happen from time to time. It was a $24 order. Maybe that's what made me patient. <laughs> it was that $24 order that I got, that I showed you guys in that video last week. Uh, yeah, that was it. It was an Italian restaurant. Uh, and uh, maybe that helped me gather some patience. <laughs> It was a nice big payout. But yeah, you got to be patient in these situations. You got to totally be patient. Be understanding. People are human. Humans make mistakes. Um, I 
let me go pick up this order here which is another notoriously slow Italian restaurant uh, what I did was I called them 11 minutes ago when I got the ping I said hello this is Antonio the Grubhub driver I'm calling to confirm the 511 pickup for what is uh, you know then you say the customer's name and they're like yeah okay no problem it's in the oven just want to make sure because this place sometimes does not make pizza until you get there and you know how long it takes to make a pizza anyways let me go get it all right just picked it up it was a large buffalo pie and i think they didn't put that pie into the oven until i called them <laughs> so i had to wait like five minutes and i called them like 12 minutes before i arrived so it's very possible that they stuck that pie into the oven after I call them to confirm the order. Always confirm the order with restaurants that you know are slow. If you get an order from a privately owned restaurant that's new, these places are run very, uh, you know, they're not as corporately minded as a, a, a fast food chain is. Uh, so sometimes they leave tablets off or they push the orders to the back burner and handle their physical customers first. The customers that they know and the ones they know that are loyal and you know they tend to push grubhub orders on the back burner which isn't right because there are customers at home waiting for food that they paid for and they shouldn't be waiting long so again as a grubhub driver you know be a coach to these new merchants again inform them that you know uh, customers are inclined to cancel orders if they wait too long and chances are that sometimes food is already being prepared and made before customer cancels and you know it can result in lost inventory uh, you know let them know these things this place I guarantee you if I didn't call they wouldn't have put that pie in the oven man I would have had to wait and watch the guy make it and learn how to make pizza even though I'm pretty good at making pizza I should show you guys one day make a video about it anyways guys I'm gonna go deliver this pie. It is at a hospital, so I'm assuming uh, it's gonna come with a cash tip. This one was a low ball. So uh, the fact that it's at a hospital tells me that uh, I will more than likely be receiving a cash tip for it. And another good thing with these beefed up low balls, again, this low ball, this no tipper, came at five and a half dollars which means Grubhub definitely beefed it up. And so when you accept these orders now and they come with cash tips, they're gonna be pretty good. They're gonna pay pretty well. Be well, guys. Be safe out there on the road. And most importantly, keep riding and shining. Hey, let's go get that paper, baby. Until next time, this is Antonio, signing off.